This is the Mondak Oilfield Review with host Jason Spies. My name is Jason Spies and this is the Mondak Oilfield Review, heard of the Crude Life Media Network. On today's episode, we talk with William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, who are building the Davis Refinery, the first greenfield refinery being built in the United States in over 50 years, and it's coming to Belfield, North Dakota. In just a moment, part of our exclusive interview with William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, right here on the Mondak Oilfield Review. It seems everywhere I go these days, someone is telling me about the success of Hatch Coaching. Listen to what professional speaker Mark J. Lindquist has to say. He is a person in this market and now in markets across the country with Hatch Coaching that is revolutionizing the way people approach the business. He's reinventing the way people look at the people model. That's why he brings in hundreds of people from all over the country who are trying to figure out how to do what he's doing in their market. For more information, call 701-212-1572. Or visit coachingwithhatch.com. That's coachingwithhatch.com. Welcome back to the Mondak Oil Field Review. My name is Jason Spies. Up next, William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group. Well, we had a couple of things to do with the county before we could actually start work in the field, but we got that done by, well, about the first week of July and uh, started work on site preparation and grading and getting some drainage installed. And that's been going along pretty nicely. Uh, up until a couple of weeks ago, we had some weather. Uh, given the recent weather, I think we're going to start looking at buttoning up the site for winter and pick it up again, uh, you know, April, May. Although uh, I understand this year they started construction activities out in that area as early as February. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But um, in the site work, it's, it's going great. Uh, we're continuing design and procurement efforts. So uh, actually this coming summer, you're going to be able to see the refinery taking shape on the ground. So things are moving along as, as it looks. Um, of course, the big news this week, the uh, Public Service Commission dropped a complaint. And I saw, um, I think it was your guys' um, attorney or legal representation that used the word new normal when it comes to uh, the new norm, you know, and it seems like any energy project, whether it's a refinery to a pipeline, seems to be challenged a lot, and some complaints are coming in. Um, was now did, did did I get my facts right that there was the complaint was dismissed, or are there any lingering ones around? Or well, the um, yeah, we we saw two of the currently four litigation uh, um, items were, uh, with regard to Davis uh, dismissed over the last couple of weeks. There was a complaint in the state court uh, saying that our conditional use permit from Billings County was not valid. Uh, That was dismissed recently. To listen to the full-length interview with William Prentice, the CEO of Meridian Energy Group, or to listen to other Mondak oil field reviews, visit thecrudelife.com. That's thecrudelife.com. From the staff of the Mondak oil field review, my name is Jason Spies asking you to keep calm and frack on. (laughs) 